dear students welcome to the online learning today we will be learning about chapter number 4 that is basic geometrical ideas today's topic will be problem solving on basic concepts so let us begin with our today's class children first of all here you have to write a proper heading in your notebook how it is written on the screen okay now today we will learn how to solve the exercise questions that are given in textbook page number 74 look at this figure given on the screen for this figure you have to name five points so first of all you tell me what is a point a point in geometry is a location this we know so for the given figure five points are point d point e point o point b and point c clear next you have to name a line so what is a line children a line is a straight set of points that extends in opposite directions without ending okay name for a line here is line bd next you have to name four rays so what is a ray children a ray is a portion of a line okay so here four rays are ray od ray oe ray oc ray ob this much is clear next you have to name five line segments so what is a line segment a line segment is a part of a line that is bounded by two distinct end points clear so five line segments for the given figure will be written as line segment od line segment oe line segment oc line segment ob and line segment bd next you have to again find the questions solution which are given in textbook page number 75 from the same exercise okay so again look at this given figure present on the screen here also you need to use the figure to name line containing point e okay so from the given figure which line is containing point e can you find okay so line ae contain point e okay children next you have to name line passing through point a so which line is passing through point a here on the figure given line ae is passing through point a next you have to name line on which o lies okay so again you can see the figure carefully and we can name the line on which o lies okay so here line oc or line co is present on which o lies any one way you can write your answer fine so next you have to find the name for two pairs of intersecting lines okay so children first of all you tell me that what is an intersecting lines intersecting lines are two lines that shares exactly one point this we know okay so let us find intersecting lines so your solution will be first pair of intersecting lines will be you can see on the figure that line ae is intersected with line ef at point e clear so this is your first pair then how many pairs we have to find two pairs so second pair will be again see the given figure carefully and you can just find that line co is intersected with line ae at which point at point 
B. Okay. So your next pair of intersecting lines will be C O and line A E. Is it clear? Next. Let us move on to the next question given in textbook page number seventy five. So children, here you have to find that how many lines can pass through one given point. So your answer will be. countless or infinite number of lines can pass through one given point so understand this with the help of this drawn figure here we have taken a point p and from this point p you can see that countless or infinite number of lines are passing okay next you have to find that how many lines can pass through two given points okay so your answer is only one line can pass through two given points let us see this also through the help of figure okay you can see that we have taken two points and we have named as a b from this two point a and b you can see that only one line can pass fine now come to the homework from the exercise 4.1 given in textbook page number 74 and 75 so your homework is question number 2 here you have to name the line given in all possible 12 ways choosing only two letters at a time from four given and you need to refer this given figure present on the screen below question number 2 fine children next in question number 5 you have to draw a rough figure and you need to label them suitably in each of the following cases so your first case for question number 5 is point p lies on line ab is it clear next you have to draw again a rough figure for the second case that is line xy and line pq intersect at point m okay then next again you have to draw a rough figure for line l contains e and f but not point d okay then next question for the question number 5 you have to again draw a rough figure for line op and line oq meet at point o clear this much so try solving this questions in your notebook one more question for your home assignment is question number 6 here you have to consider the following figure of line mn say whether following statements are true or false in context of the given figure fine so here first statement is q m o n p r points on line m n okay next is point m point o point n are on a line segment mn is it clear now next point m and point n are end points of line segment mn next statement point o and point n are end points of the line segment op the next point m is on the end points of line segment qo next point m is on ray op after that ray op is different from ray qp the next statement ray op is same as ray om after that ray om is not opposite to ray op fine the next statement point o is not an initial point of op so what is your j statement p 
point O is not an initial point of ray OP. For that also you have to tell your answer whether it is true or false. Then next point N is the initial point of ray NP and ray NM. Fine children, so this all true false you need to solve. And after that, you have to write your answer whether the given statements are true or false. Thank you. I hope you have understood whatever we have learned today. Complete your copy for all the topics whatever we learned today along with your homework. Okay.